everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to demonstrate how you can insert the pdf viewer you have created in the last step on any of your wordpress post or pages so let's get started i'm logged into my wordpress admin panel i'll just navigate to pages add new i'll call the page as a test page and on this here uh, add block icon i'll click on this add block icon and search for pdf viewer okay so this is the pdf viewer block and click on add pdf viewer there are two type of uh, short codes which you can insert first one is embed a pdf viewer it will embed uh, a pdf the pdf viewer you select on this page as an iframe and this link to a pdf viewer short code will uh, output a link to the PDF viewer we just created. So let's start with the embed a PDF viewer option here. Okay, so once uh, we have selected the option here, there are some parameters we need to choose. Okay, so select viewer to embed. We have created a magazine PDF on the last step. So let's select this magazine PDF white i'll set it 100 percent and height is 800 is fine for me i'll just add a uh, iframe title magazine pdf okay so insert pdf viewer let's publish this page okay and this page is now live so as you can see we have the pdf viewer embedded here so i'm getting this error message because i have not registered the plugin to receive automatic updates so when you register the plugin uh, using this click here link and adding your purchase key you will have these notices go away so this is the embed uh, short code i'm going to add another short code okay and in this case i'm going to use link to a pdf viewer select the pdf viewer in the same way open pdf okay so i'll just change it to click here to open pdf and everything else okay just select the options here i want the link to open in a new tab instead of same tab and insert the pdf viewer so update the page now if i reload the page and scroll to the bottom i can see the link here click here to open pdf and i have the pdf viewer created in the last step here okay so that's basically it for this tutorial i hope it helped you and see you in the next one thank you